Okay, so I'm just outside of Channel 9 Studios and I just finished my interview. I'm gonna say that that was an intense interview. I hope that I came across well. Hello everyone, welcome to another video. It's been about a week since I've uploaded a video. If you've clicked on this video just to see this uh, interview that I did, I want you to just go down into the comments section. There's some links there. Um, you can go and watch it on my Facebook. I'll leave the Google Drive link there. They haven't uploaded it to YouTube yet, which is a bit of a shame. I cannot upload any content to my channel that could be perceived as copyright, even if it's fair use at the moment, because I've got a strike on my channel. I wanna tell you a little bit about this interview, how it come about, and what my thoughts on are on it. If you, if you wanna go watch it first, that's fine. Come back to this video, please, and leave your comments about the interview. I'd really like to hear your feedback. All right, this is the green room here. Channel 9 green room. It's getting ready to go in. So the Today Show is a really large Australian uh, morning show. And I want to tell you how this interview came about. Because I was in England for two months. I'm back at my home base now. I've got a little office here in Indonesia. So I spent two months in England campaigning. And I, I worked every single day. I really put myself on the line there. And I started to become mentally exhausted. And I needed to come back and retreat back here in Indonesia to recollect my thoughts. I've been, you know, burning the candle at both ends. So I come back here, I literally slept for three days straight. When I woke up <laughs> from my three day rest, I'd been contacted by the Today Show and they said, we, we, we've seen a few articles about you. Veganism has been in the Australian media quite a bit and we want you on the show. They said they could televise me live from Indonesia and I said, well, maybe the dynamic would be better if I come there. So they were in Sydney, so they, luckily, it was really close flights, about five hours from here to Sydney, and they flew me straight from here to Sydney, so it just worked out really, you know, almost too well. I had about a week to prepare, really, well, it was about four or five days to prepare for this interview, and I decided to stay off social media for that time, and I decided to really focus on this interview and what I was going to say, how I was going to say it, and I kind of had an idea about what they were going to run past me. I mean, it's usually the same things. I really wanted this to be an effective uh, dialogue. So yeah, I spent I spent a, a, a few days just staying calm and you know picturing how it would turn out and just going over how I would say things. I personally feel like it was one of the better TV interviews that I've done. I said some pretty heavy things. I said some pretty heavy things. Now, they were looking for a, a retraction of my statements where I compared dairy farmers to Nazis. I didn't do that. I, I actually refused to re retract my statements about dairy farmers being likened to Nazis. I just, I thought through the animal's eyes, they, they, they are, they're not the good people. So even though I don't think they're inherently bad people, I just, I think I, I wanted to speak for the animals there and God, let's see how this one goes. Uh, very controversial interview, I think. Because through the cow's eyes, the Holocaust that they're experiencing, you know, through the pig's eyes, the Holocaust they're experiencing is no different to the Holocaust any humans have experienced. Ex the only difference is species, really. So I decided not to retract any of those statements as, you know, radical as they may seem. I decided instead to explain why this is a Holocaust. So please leave your feedback on the interview. Now, the ladies interviewing me were quite gobsmacked. I was, you know, sitting about a meter away from them and at times they just looked quite stunned. The, the two ladies who interviewed me said, wow, you've definitely given me a lot to think about, so. So after the interview, um, she goes like, one of the ladies actually said to me, oh wow, you really gave me something to think about there. Like, you know, she looked really like, they didn't really have an answer, it's, it's almost like, this was their first, you know, run in with kind of a logical, you know, educated vegan activist. And she said to me, you know, I'm trying to reduce Joey, I'm trying to reduce. And I said, you know, like people in positions like yours, we need to just go vegan. I mean, there's a lot of celebrities going vegan now. Reducing's really, it, it really isn't good enough to reduce, reduce when we know like the impact on the environment. And, you know, we're going completely against our values as compassionate humans to commit this abuse to animals. Anyways, two people on set came up to me. Like one was a lighting guy, like that 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 
that did the lighting. So if you're watching, how you going, bro? And he shook my hand, he goes, great work, great work, thanks for speaking up. Another guy was a host of the following show, after the morning show, and his name was David, and he's been vegan for three years, and he said, thanks so much for all your work. You know, I speak about this all the time at, on, on set, and you know, at his workplace. So it was just interesting to know that there was support there, and there's vegans everywhere, wherever you go, so it's just really cool. Yeah, so really, really happy with this interview. Um, there's a lot of powerful things that I feel like they come across really well. I think about a quarter of a million people watch that show every morning. There might have been more because it was such a controversial topic. And then they've got uh, their online um, following as well, which will all have seen this message, a very strong animal rights message. You know, not skimping on the truth, not holding out on any transparency, and really looking for logical consistency from the public and just you know, pleading my case for the animals. And I'm, I'm just a genuine, honest person. And, you know, if you meet, meet me in real life, you'll see that I'm just as passionate in real life about this as I am on screen. And I think, really, we all need to step up a, not, a notch and, you know, just start saying it how it is. Don't be afraid of the backlash. There's always going to be backlash when you're speaking truth. Just say it how it is. The animals need us now. This is very, very urgent. So I'm looking forward to more media to come in Australia. It seems like they're catching up with the whole media thing. UK has been bringing veganism out into the forefront. They've really ran it through the ringer, haven't they? So Australia is going to do the same, I feel, as well. I really think this is going to be perpetuated by the mainstream media even more so in Australia as the time goes by. I want to talk about the, the strike that I've got on my channel too. I, I don't want to really say too much about it until it's over, but there was a strike on my channel, and I'm just trying to get that resolved now. I used some footage. It was fair use. That's why I cannot do a response video to my interview. Uh, I can't really even put any clips of the interview in. I could just leave the links down below for you to go check it out for yourselves and tell me what you think and please share it. You know, please share it. I, I really do think this is one for the non-vegans to see as well. Thank you so much for all your support. It was a much needed break for me like that week off and I just used it to sort of reflect and you know, educate myself on certain things. I watched a bit of Gary Orofsky for inspiration. I, I also just made sure I was I was sharp for this uh, interview. I made sure I was, I was looking presentable um, and had a clear, well-slept, you know, just feeling rational and just feeling emotionally stable before I got there onto, onto TV. And I think that's what I'll do more of in the future too if I have any more media. I think I'll really, you know, focus myself. I mean, we're not perfect as advocates. I mean, I'm not perfect, a perfect advocate. I just try my best and it's never going to be 100% perfect. You're always going to reflect and go, oh, I could have said this, I could have said that. As long as we are saying something and as long as we speak from our heart, you know, you're going to get better as you progress. Just don't listen to the criticism and the backlash. Just speak from your heart for the animals like if it was you in the animal's position. And that's one of the best things that I took from Gary Yurofsky was that always speak for the animals like you would want to be spoken for if it was you in their position. I'm just preparing for this interview. I'm um, watching Dominion and it's absolutely horrific. It's making me so angry. I'm just hoping that I can channel that anger in a productive way and speak for the animals like I'd want to be spoken for because this is just horrible. It never gets easier watching this stuff. So anyway, that's where I'm at. I'm back at home base now in Indonesia. I'll be, I've got a few big things coming up too to do with TV again. <laughs> and I'm gonna take every TV media opportunity I can get. Uh, it's really, that's where, you know, when it comes to TV, you're reaching a non-vegan audience. If there's any non-vegans watching this right now, like look, you can look into anything I say. And if you want to try to like, you know, disprove anything, that's fine. You, I think I, I just want you to think about these things. I want you to look into them yourself. If you don't think uh, pigs are gas chamber, check it out. Check out Dominion, and and you know you could actually go to farms yourself. I mean, a lot of people, you know, go to farms themselves, have a look around, have a smell, see what it smells like. There's some dead bodies in bins outside. You know, go to the gas chambers, hear the pigs screaming for their lives. This isn't vegan propaganda. This is all open for you to find out for yourself. The information's there, what happens in the dairy industry. This is standard practice I'm talking about. Just look inside your heart and say, oh, like, am I acting consistently with my own values? Do I have a certain code of ethics towards animals that I'm breaching every time I eat them? So 
Anyways, guys, thank you so much for your support. Check out the videos, leave them linked below, and I'll see you all in the next video. Peace. So two people actually come up and said thanks for all the work that you do. So it was really, really cool. Um, all in all, I think it will be a very controversial interview that might be received positively by a lot of people, but also there's gonna be a lot of opposition.